Jumping on the top, I always do. He can get on the other side, he can walk over to the other side. Come over here. Slide the bike, please. No hands out of the windows. Put it down. I'm going to set here. And when we're in the lock and the gates are being shut behind us and they start to fill the lock with water, there'll be a lot of turbulence and the boat may well bump into the walls. 
Sorry. Our younger passengers will be pleased to know that it is real slime that is on the walls. <laughs> Doctors last re-lined. They're quite difficult to see in this lock, but they are there, but a lot easier to see in the next lock. That was when Grandad was born. 1930. That bricks is old, isn't it? Oh, right. I forgot Grandad is that age. You said bricks. I thought it was the to give you six thousand and gallons of water, just to give you an idea just how much that is, it'll cost at least a thousand pounds if you went through your water meter. But also, someone told me there's enough water in a lot to fill a bath every day for 10 years. Do you hear that, Harry? There's enough water right, in this lot to fill a bath for now water. every day for 10 years. Wow! It's that much water. Well, as we can see, the next lock is just a little look, look, distance look. ahead, and the, the boat in front of us has just got to the top of that lock, so we're going to have to wait in this small area of water here, which is known as POW. So while we're waiting, if you look out to the left, you can see an old disused air shaft in the field to the left, and we understand this has something to do with some kind of drainage system that was... Can I have one of Investigate. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mummy has to get a
A lock keeper here would have been responsible for the operation of these two locks. He would have operated the locks and decided what order the boats could go through it because he wanted to try and be as economical with the use of water as possible. You also notice there is a colony of house martins live under the eaves of the cottage up there in the ivy or whatever it is. <laughs> And this particular cottage is a true rural retreat because there is no road access to it. The only way you can get your cottage is by boat or along the footpath on the right hand side. When we come out of the lock, we'll see there's a brick built the name suggests it was to help back the water that was lost down these two locks. And originally it would have housed the large steam engine to do this. Yeah, you get more air, I think. Be nice. 